Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll give you introduction about what is RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation, uh, basically a powerful technique that helps AI give some smarter answers, more accurate answers by combining both search and language models. So before we start like uh, this RAG, so I'll just give you a quick introduction about it. So what does it stands for? So basically there are two processes are there, two step process. So one is like retrieval and one is the generation part. So it's an AI approach. So combining both the retrieval and the generation. The very first thing, it finds some relevant information from both the external sources like uh, documents, database. So based upon the user question and then the generation part, it uses some language model to generate an answer using both the retrieved information and the question. So I'll just give you a quick over here, a flow diagram. So user asks a question. So first it retrieves the relevant information from a source, like some search documents, database, etc., or any knowledge base. Then it feeds that information to a language model like Claude or GPT. So we generates a context aware response. So basically it is like, you know, uh, let's just think of like uh, asking an expert who has a very big, huge book. So when you ask something, it first looks up into the book for the right chapter and then look for the right answer for the question being asked. So RAG basically helps the AI models give more accurate and updated answers. So that is the biggest challenge in the LLMs. They are uh, like not updated ones. So basically it helps you to update answers by combining both search the retrieval with the text generation to give you the final answer. So uh, as I mentioned, this RAG is like quite having some pretty complex uh, with embeddings, vector search, cloud services, open search, uh, AWS and all this. Lots of things are there that we can utilize. But uh, my today motive for this video was to explain this RAG by a very uh, simple a beginner friendly a C sharp program I will showcasing you in which I'll be using AWS Bedrock and Claude that capture the core idea, how we are going to work with that, how the prompt works. A very simple example. So like uh, just a fix, a, like a piece of knowledge we'll be having from which it will search first. Then uh, we are going to ask the question and Claude answers based on that particular text. So I'll, before we proceed, let's move to the console. If you haven't uh, requested some models, so better make sure you request the model. So go to your console, go to the AWS Bedrock and request for that particular model. So you can use the Cloud 2.1, 3, 4, whichever you want. So for this example, I've just taken the legacy one. So let me basically switch on to the console, then I will show you how we can request that. Okay, so you can just go to the models, just choose this. Anthropic over here and look for, you can scroll it down. So I've just kept it simple. You can just go here and you can click on this and you can put a request in order to activate the access to this particular model. So once it is access has been granted, it will come like this and copy this particular model ID that will be, we will be using in our program. Now lots of things are there, max token, language, and all those things are there. So we choose this one when we are requesting. And there are some code samples are also there, but I'm not going to do that. So let's just quickly switch on to my VS code over here. I'll just put this in my GitHub. So you can just simply uh, copy paste and you can utilize. So what's happening basically in this program? So basically, I will be using an Amazon Bedrock Runtime to call that Anthropic Cloud model that will uh, build a prompt for RAG, sends it to the cloud, and then prints the response. So as you already know that, that the cloud API, it uh, the prompt must start with some new line and all, human and all. So those are the things that we need to take care. So basically here also I'm keeping a context and the user questions are being injected into the prompt. So we can have a response provided accordingly through that and some other handling and all but in order to use this example we need to set up the aws uh, credentials and all so as you know we can if you haven't configured you can use this aws configure if you don't have the id and the key you can just go to the iam and just generate one 
ID and the key. And then configure, make it sure you uh, configure the region US East 1, or else we can, it's already mentioned in the code also, like the default region to be used where our model is there, the cloud models. Okay, so once you have set up this, then uh, we can not run the program, but uh, we need to create a project. So you can just write it in the terminal.net, new console, my app, then change the directory to the my app. Then we need to change some contents in the program.cs that I will showcase you down. Then we need to add some packages, .net add package AWS bedrock runtime for the JSON, system.text.json and the Amazon runtime. Now, basically here we are sending a request. In the request body, we are sending those uh, content to our uh, cloud model. And based upon that, it will just give you our response. So basically we're requesting the JSON request we are sending and then accordingly we're getting a response. So here uh, dependencies are there that we need to install through the NuGet package that we can install it. Not here, .NET add package, you can add it. Now here, now if you see over here, this is we are creating a client in that region, EUS East 1. Then this is the context that we are going to inject into the prompt. And this is a question. So this is what we are talking about, like uh, the documents or text. As I told you, this is a very basic, very simple example in which uh, like I want to show you like how we can have uh, this embedment, how we can have our own uh, content that we can utilize it. So we will be just uh, looking into a fixed piece of knowledge basically to the cloud and we can see how it updates the data and it gives us the response. So here, this is the context and this is the user question that is being asked. So you can see in the context I'm just mentioning over here, RAG stands for retrieval augmented generation. It uses sources to help answer questions, that's it. Now here, the our prompt will start. So new line, human, we will receive the context followed by the question. That is the context and then the question. Okay, I hope this is clear, user question. So this is how we need to provide the values to the prompt. Then this is our request body. So I'm passing over here in the body body prompt to the max token sample temperature. And there's these values you, do, you, you can skip also. Just make it sure you are providing this max, max tokens to sample and the stop sequence. Then this is our JSON payload. We serialize that request body. Now here, very important thing. If you're using whatever model, just provide that model ID over here. Content type, accept, and all those things, then the rest will be the response. So let's run it over here. So initially you need to uh, build, or you can just write dot .net run, it will automatically build that particular program. So you can see I'm running this. So as we have already provided, injected our question. Okay, let me check some errors are there some semicolon is expected. Let me go to that particular line 11, nothing. It's just, uh, I think it got uncommented. That's why. Right. Let's go down over here. So as we have already injected into the prompt, the context as well as the our question, so you can see how it's basically, it's going to combine both those in order to generate a context aware response. Now you can see, uh, cloud response is over here, completion based on the context provided. A key benefit of this RAG is in the AI, it allows model to utilize external resource to help answer the questions, that's it. This is what in the context now, now the updated information and all those things is coming from our cloud model over here. So specifically by retrieving, so all this information is coming from there. Stop sequence, stop human, that's it. So this is how it will give you a response. This is just a very basic example in which uh, like uh, I have integrated this uh, this bedrock at cloud to capture the whole core idea rotating around the rag. So this is like uh, how, so we can even also have over here instead of providing the context over here in the form of just simple uh, few string value over here we can have also some uh, PDA for the file or a JSON file, anything. So it will automatically check in that, then it will combine both the answers and then it generates a context aware response. Okay, so this one you could treat it as like a static uh, uh, model or static question and answer both with some static, uh, you can treat it like as a uh, both. So once you're finished up with this uh, beginner project, you can 
uh, get more comfortable searching from the files. You can expand this project into some large documents into, and then generate some embeddings. And you can also use the vector search criteria in order to get some relevant like uh, answers automatically. So we can expand this project. So if you want the full code, I'll be like putting in the GitHub so you can give it a try with some file and all. So, and let, do let me know in the comment section whether you are able to run this. If you face any troubles, do also let me know in the comment section. So I will definitely try to help you out with this setup. So don't forget to like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.